and welcome to Fridge Camp. If you enjoy sticking food in your mush, then this is the show for you. Coming up in the fridge today, it's us. I'm Grace. I'm Mamrie, and we're here seeking citizenship. But first. The dudes are gonna test our British food knowledge. What she said. Now you may have noticed that both Grace and Mamie are from the United States. What are your current thoughts on the state of the United States? It's <laughs> up. Right, we don't, we, we don't swear. I mean, we, Americans yeah. already have a bad reputation for yeah. being trashy. Like, <laughs> is up. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't want to go back. No, we would like to stay here, in fact. Mm -hmm. So you want a green card? Yeah. yeah. You, you offer in a marriage? Our British <laughs> government, they put you through a citizenship test. Okay. okay. And we thought we could prepare you for that. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. So ready. We agreed to this earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation <laughs> off camera. Why are we doing this? Here's our first challenge. Okay. Make a traditional cup of Rosie Lee. Who that? What? <laughs> Is that like your Rosie O'Donnell here? <laughs> a Rosie Lee, I'm assuming tea, because we have only a certain number of ingredients in front of us. Right Wait a now. second. Is Rosie Lee like that, that, what do they do? That slang? I don't you know, know that just... slang where they'd say words for other words? I'm just doing what you're doing. Okay. I think you steep first, then add milk. I'm gonna steep it, and then and then I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze it. Is it too hot? No, I have no feelings in my tongue <laughs> from, the, like, from the accident. <laughs> Mary can live anywhere. She has no fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you putting milk in? Oh, I guess to it, tea. To, oh it, heck yeah. Okay, <laughs> and now I'm gonna take a little biscuit. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it. Y'all do that. That's downright delectable. And we pour this. Mm-hmm. Okay, how'd you do? I think it's tasty. I think we did fairly well, but I have to tell you, a fly died in memories. Get that, that's, mine is dark, yours is milky. Good brew. Yeah. Good brew. I think that's a pass. Round one, done. Make a traditional Yorkshire pudding. Wow, what a demand. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a recipe just flew in from some sort of off-camera godlike creature. Thank you. Preheat the oven to 1040 Celsius. 240. Oh my god. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? No, 240. Yeah, I think that's what Max is. Oh, I think that must be hot. They've been preheating it for us. Oh, nice. Place a muffin tray onto a large baking tray and place into the oven to preheat. To preheat? Oh, I believe it's these carefully placed items we need. You nailed it. Um, Preheating a pan? Who knows? Well, now I've heard everything. Fill a ramen came with plain flour. Remember, remember the level by I? This is, there's a typo in this, that's why. What kind of riddle this is, is That's a riddle. Okay. So level, yeah. There you go. Uh, whisk the flour in a bowl with one teaspoon of salt. Crack enough eggs into the ramekin to fill to the same height the flour was. That's a one. Oh, I'm nervous. You can do it. Yeah! That's ah enough! That's enough eggs! That's a perfect amount of Get eggs! Get out of here! We yeah. don't need you! We have enough! Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Does it? You're doing a good job. Mm, thank you. Ooh, teamwork! Now we pour one tablespoon of vegetable oil into each muffin tray hole and return to the oven to heat for two to three minutes. That looks great. Meanwhile... Then it says, pour the batter through a sieve and into a... The f*** is a sieve! What the sieve? Oh, I think we're being deceived. A sieve. Sieve? Sieve. Sieve. Is it supposed to be Steve? Is there a man that's supposed Pour to be Pour the batter through Steve. Yeah. This. Yep. That looks disgusting. Pour the batter into the hot oil in the muffin cases. Cases. So that they're a third filled and return to the oven as quickly as you can. Okay, a third. A third of the way up. <sighs> is that right? That looks like a gross thing. Why is it turned into discs? I'm never going to visit Yorkshire. Go, go! Oh, wait, close the oven. It's a really race of a dessert. Ah! <laughs> I got it. Look, that was so quick. With 15 minutes to kill, how about we use our time constructively? Another test? Yeah! Okay! What is this? It's a sieve. Make Marmite on toast and eat it. I'll make it if uh -huh. you take it. Okay. Okay, but why is there butter? 
I guess I think you do a layer of butter. And then marmite. What and is then marmite? marmite? Oh, so it's uh, it's like a yeast. It's like a fermented yeast base, I think. What do like how bored are the citizens of this country that they're like we should just eat yeast today? Yeah, like what guy was like, oh shoot, all my yeast went bad. Oh, I don't have any peanut butter or jam. Let me put the yeast on my toast today. <laughs> it smells like soy sauce. Exactly, because there's so much sodium in it. Cool. Do I sound like Ben? <laughs> It's really hot. Mm, no! <laughs> I can taste oh. it from here. Ooh! <laughs> we got two winces. Okay, okay Ben, do you some? like it? Absolutely love Marmite. You know, a lot of people think that's my name, so I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> that's another pass. Yeah! yeah. Right. And we'll pass. What are they? What even happened here? <laughs> okay. OK. So I'm going to I'm gonna turn it. Are you supposed to turn them over? I don't know. Huh? Uh-oh. If I'm drunk anywhere near these, it's going to be an issue. We need someone else to taste it. Did to we get tell to taste these, too? Ooh. Yeah. It's, look these at them. These smell incredible. Thank you. How Thank they... you. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Is that That's good? what you fill with your gravy. What? What sauce. kind of gravy? Sauce. sauce. Meat sauce. Meat gravy. These, these are savory? Are these desserts? No, these go with roast meats, roast vegetables. You're blowing my mind. I feel like I'm watching an M. Night Shyamalan movie. This is really good. Really, really good. Did you try it? Mm. There's definitely egg in it. And milk. milk. Oh, but you should try them. <laughs> Light, crispy, tasty. It's another pass. Yeah, it is. So, you've done spectacularly well so far. Thank you. Um, this last round is a question and answer. Okay. Heard of it. Um, so, you alluded to Cockney Rhymy slang earlier, uh -huh. um, which is a phrase that is substituted for a word and it normally rhymes with that word, or mm -hmm. it always rhymes with that word. Okay. So, I can give you an example apple and pears are stairs. Why do people got apples on there for? Who knows? <laughs> Cockney. <laughs> This is honestly, this is, like, this is the hardest language to learn of all time. People say is, that Celtic is weird. Oh, this is my math. So number one, bacon and eggs. And the example is, Ben's obsessed with red shorts. He loves to get his bacons out. Legs. I get this game now. Correct. <laughs> okay, raspberry tart. Okay. Example, you know when Barry's had a curry, you can smell his raspberry. Fart. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Go team! <laughs> Spanish onion. Okay. The example, my feet are killing me. This Spanish won't go away. Onion. Not a lot rhymes with onion, to be fair. <laughs> my, minion? Nope. The old baked plum. The example, too many donuts and you'll have an old plate. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> too many donuts and you'll have an old baked plum like Mike's. Bum. Bum. Correct. But what's an old baked plum? Exactly as it sounds. Just take an old plum, stick it in the oven. Yeah. Okay. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Final one. Yeah. Custard and jelly. Mhm. Mm and I'm not going to give you an example because you're too good. <gasps> Custard and jelly. What? Telly. You watch it on the telly. That is correct. Ah! Yeah! Telly I'm well. a genius. Yeah. Okay, who's married? Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we gonna do? Sorry. Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> There's only one thing left to do. Ask the question, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm still blushing. If you want to find out whether or not Grace and Mamie were actually, well, accepted back into the US, all the links to them are down below. Go check them out. Yeah, go give them some love because we definitely love it. You girls. do more than most. <laughs> Stick with us now because we're going to make some classic British scones in the aftertaste, but it's also Christmas time, so we're going to take ourselves a break. This is the last episode of season one. But don't worry, there will be another Christmas special being launched during the Christmas period, a little gift from us to you. And of course, we're back in the new year, January the 8th, so if you're new here or you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed because we will make you hungry. Well, do you know what? That fridge can have everything. It had some British tea bagging. It had two Americans learning what a sieve is. And it had a very Merry Christmas from everyone here at the Sorted Studio. Till next year. Ciao. Bye-bye.
quintessential afternoon tea needs a classic scone and I'm going to show you how to make the perfect one. What you'll need is flour, butter, milk, egg, sugar and dried fruit. Easy as that.